Now, if you have a line segment, uh, say this is the line segment AB, AB, and we want to find the distance between A to B, or the, or the length of AB. So let's say D is what we want to find. How far away is B from A or A from B? So let's first find a formula to find the distance between A and B. So well, say the coordinate of A is say x1, y1, x1, comma, y1, and the coordinate of B is x2, y2. So how can we use these two coordinates to find the distance between A to B? So well, let's draw a right angle triangle. Okay, so let me use a line. So this is. Let me make up a right up right angle triangle, and then join this with this. So this is a right angle triangle. Okay, so let me drag it and make it a right angle. Perfect. Okay, so this is a right angle triangle. So what can we do, or how can we use this right angle triangle to find D? Okay, so let me say this is M. This is M, and this is right angle. Okay, so we know, say, by using Pythagoras, I can say D squared is equal to AM squared plus BM squared. This is just Pythagoras theorem. So, BM squared. So now we need to ask the question: What's the distance from, or what's the horizontal distance from A to B, or distance from A to M? Well, if the x coordinate of B is x2, and the x coordinate of A is x1, AM should be x2 minus x1. Okay, so this is how you people generate formulas. And now if you look, if you can describe BM as the distance from B to M, or basically it's the vertical distance between A to B. Well, just looking at the Y coordinate, if AM is X2 minus X1, uh, BM should be Y2 minus Y1. So just using Pythagoras, I can rewrite this. B d squared is equal to x2 minus x1 am am is x2 minus x1 so it will be x2 minus x1 squared the whole squared like this plus y2 minus y1 squared okay and i want to find d not d squared so i have to take the square root of this so if i take the square root of this We'll take the square root of this. And this is called, in some books, the distance formula. So basically, the distance formula is Pythagoras theorem. Okay, so this is square root of x2 minus x1 squared plus y2 minus y1 squared. So I'll pause this video. I want you to make up your own question. Make up a coordinate for A and B and try to use this formula to find the distance between A and B because I want to rub this off. Hopefully you should have done by now. So let us make up some coordinate for A and B. Okay, so let's say A is say 2 comma 4 and B is say 10 comma 7. 10 comma 7. So the first thing that you need to do to use this formula, label this. This is x1 comma y1, x1 comma y1, and this is x2 comma y2. So once you know this formula, you can prove this formula by just using Pythagoras. So let's use this formula. So I'm going to put it up. Let me make it smaller. Okay. So let's scroll it up. And so just using the formula, I can say D is equal to square root of, what is X2? Well, X2 is 10. 
take away 2 squared plus y2. What is y2? y2 is 7. 7 take away 4 squared. Okay, so let's simplify this. So d is square root of, so this is 8 squared plus 3 squared, which is square root of 64 plus 9. I just thought of these coordinates. You can make up your own coordinates. So this is square root of square root of 73. So I can say without even a calculator, I know square root of 64 is 8 and square root of 81 is 9. So it is 73 is between 64 and 81. So it should be 8 point something. So you can use your calculator. 8 point something or you can leave the answer like this this is a more exact answer or this is the exact answer rather than writing in decimal so let me make up let me give you an example as your work you can do it yourself so it's not drawn to scale so you can think of any coordinate so think of a coordinate so I'm making up a new example so this is minus 1 comma 4 and this is say uh, 18 comma 50. It is not drawn to scale. So use this formula or the distance formula to find the distance between A to B.